Hello guys, it's Emily and today's video will be all about what to do with empty notebooks. If you're like me, you might have a collection of just notebooks that are empty and you don't know what to do with them, so I created this video specifically if you have this issue or if you're just curious about what to do to fill up notebooks. So stay tuned into the video and I'll discuss a few different ways. Be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. So let's get started. First off is journaling or diarying. I don't know if that's a word. I've been doing this for quite a while and here are my collection of journals. As you can see, I really liked Minions back then. I started this in like 2014, so it's been like six years. I've been journaling and I've just filled up a bunch of notebooks. I just think it's great for getting some things off your mind and I really enjoy doing it. That's why I've continued past all these years and I have really nice journals so it makes me really want to do it. And I just write like in really messy cursive because I read it later but like not really so it's just like to get something down on the paper and write down whatever you're feeling at the moment. Next off is bullet journaling. If you haven't really heard of this, it's kind of like your DIY planner and you just write down like generally your to-do list, but you also have like other things inside. So I'll be getting into that a bit after. And I really like bullet journaling because it gives you the freedom to design a planner the way you want it specifically to look. And it's not like one of those pre-made agendas where it doesn't conform to your needs. However, I stopped bullet journaling this year because it did get a bit time consuming making a spread and I switched to a DIY planner on my iPad. So here are some spread ideas you could try out, such as habits, goals, gratitude, wish list, or your sleep cycle. You can track all of these. There are literally tons of options. Next is a dream diary. So if you're like me and have really vivid dreams but nowhere to write them, you can put them into a dream diary and just write it down if you want to get off your mind. Next is a passwords book. So I just write down all my passwords here because it doesn't feel safe putting it on my computer. You know, hackers and all that stuff. And I just write it down here. Pretty simple and straightforward. Next is art and doodling and, you know, just random things. Okay, like, I had like an addiction to doing mild liner swatches and I think I still do. But the amount of times I've tried to make the perfect mod liner swatch is like insane i've tried it so many times i also really like swatching things and trying out calligraphy inside the notebook throughout the years my calligraphy has definitely improved and here's just my current calligraphy that i've come after like a few years of practice Next up is note taking. So just if you have an empty notebook, of course you can take notes with it. You could also try this in like a journal or a bullet journal. I've never tried this, but it looks so cute if people take their notes in a small journal. I've always taken it in like this large A4 size notebook, but it would be really cool if you just had like a small notebook and you took some notes in class on it. I've seen a girl do it in my class and I was like, wow, that looked pretty cool. So yeah, no Note taking is a pretty basic one. Just take your notes there with a pen or pencil, whatever you're up to. Next up is homework. If you have these little composition notebooks or pretty thin books, I like to take my homework in them because they're pretty slim and small and transportable. They're not very big. Although I started doing this on my iPad. If you don't have an iPad, you can always do it in here. And lastly, since the holiday season is upcoming, Regifting notebooks. If you never touched a notebook ever, you know, and it looks really nice, really nice quality, you can always regift it. And I'm planning on doing that this holiday season with some of the notebooks I haven't used. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and see you next time. I will try to post more frequently and I have a bunch of videos planned for you guys. Bye bye!